Well, maybe one of your 2020 goals is to go green. Today, I'll help you out with something you may have heard of before. Here's the science behind your carbon footprint. You may have been scolded for wasting food or wasting time, but what about energy? I'm talking about the carbon footprint, but it has nothing to do with our feet. It can make a huge impact. Fred Ferris, the director of exhibits at the Virginia Living Museum in Newport News, breaks it down for us. The carbon footprint is really you know, how much carbon we use per person. And we, unfortunately, in the United States, use a lot. In fact, we're one of the top carbon emitting countries in the world. And they do use lots of energy. The museum shows multiple ways that we can decrease our personal emissions and, in turn, our carbon footprint. But behind us here are some solar panels. In the future, the sun is going to be our answer because it's unlimited power. It could fuel all our needs. So if technology increases, we'll be able to capture it better. Well, in the distance, you can see our uh, Living Green demonstration house over there. And that's where we're going to see many ways you can reduce your footprint. That's three panels. We took a trip to the Living Greenhouse where the team purposely keeps all of the piping and wiring exposed to show the different ways to go green. But actually, buildings and homes use 30% more energy in this country than all the cars put together. What you put in your walls can help save energy and keep your pockets fuller. You might be able to install a geothermal heat pump which utilizes the temperature of the earth. Try your hand at cranking to light both the inefficient and the more energy friendly light bulbs and feel the difference in and the energy it takes to light them. And a new Science Behind airs every Wednesday on Daybreak, y'all. So if there's something you'd like me to explain, just send me an email or find me on Twitter.